of the best and easiest side hustles that you can do in 2023 is a dump trailer business. First thing is you buy a dump trailer, take people's trash out, and you make bank just for putting crap inside of it and taking it back out. I recently had Kyle Landwer on my podcast. He's a 23-year-old junk removal business owner who started off making tens of thousands of dollars a month. He scaled his business well past that. And now he actually teaches others how to do the exact same thing. So if you're looking for a side gig or even replace your full-time job or make just a ton of money in general, take some notes from my guy, Kyle, and we'll be posting our full podcast with him. So you can learn even more next week. Let's get into it. Kyle Landwehr out of O'Fallon, Missouri. I just relocated to Kansas City, Missouri. Welcome to the show, Kyle. Thanks, man. I really appreciate uh, you inviting me on here. Tell me a little bit about your story. First of all, you're super young. How, how young are you? I'm uh, 23 years old. Damn. So we were just talking and I told you like the most viral, one of the most viral videos I had on TikTok was a dump trailer video. It was like my first, like when I first started starting, it just took off. That's a good business. So tell me about your story, where you're at right now and how you got there, Kyle. So back in, we'll say 2019 or so, I was a, a union electrician. And the reason why I became a union electrician is because that's all I knew, right? My family is very blue collar. My family is all electricians. So I grew up thinking that that was the best job that anybody could ever have, making $100,000 a year, you were rich. And uh, I did that job for about a year after dropping out of college. And I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. So that was like my first stepping stone, we'll say. And I did that job for about a year and I showed up extremely desperate every single day to make more money, to start flipping houses. Real estate was like the first interest to me. And I'm okay. like, man, I, w I want to quit my job. I want to start <laughs> uh, investing into real estate. My grandpa passed away and we got um, his house, like m my dad got his house, right? And at the time, I was like trying to find ways to make extra money, that sort of thing. And so we had his house. We had to figure out how we were going to sell it. And it was full of junk. And my dad called a company called 1-800-GOT-JUNK, which is the biggest uh, junk removal business in, in the world. So they came out and they removed a pile of junk that was $1,200 and they were gone in two hours. So they made like 600 bucks an hour and there were two guys there. And at that moment, that's when I realized like, hey, there's a, there's a business here. Like I could probably start this business. You know, I was working at Anheuser-Busch as an electrician and they ended up sitting me because, you know, it was just, there was a shutdown and all this different things. So they were sitting me temporarily. And after I was sitting for a while, that's what they called it. And I wasn't working. I, I told myself I'm never going to go back to do this again. I ended up quitting that job when they called me and said, Hey, Kyle, we need you back. I said, I'm not, I'm not coming back. You know, I quit. I appreciate all of you guys appreciate what you've done. The one thing that I knew was I could probably start a junk removal company. So I quit that job. I spent $6,000. I bought a, a utility trailer for like two grand and I made 10 grand my very first month doing junk removal. And by the way, I was making $28,000 a year before that I was making 15 bucks an hour, roughly as an apprentice. As an electrician? And yeah. As an apprentice, you, they start off, you know, I don't know what it is now, but I was, it was about 15 to 17 bucks an hour as an apprentice, but you could get up to like okay. 45 or whatever. I was making 28,000 a year. I did 10 grand my fir very first month and I realized like, wow, I could make a lot of money doing this. So I just put my head down and started grinding and I was 10, I, I was, um, you know, 20 years old at the time. I had one of my buddies working for me. I was maintaining about 50% profit margins and uh, the first full year in business, I did just under a half a million in revenue and uh, just under 200,000 in profit. Five months wow. into the business, I broke my ankle on one of the job sites and I thought I was gonna have to shut the business down. Down. I, you know, I didn't know what to do. So I ended up asking the one employee that I had, I said, Hey man, do you think I taught you enough to where you could go run your own truck and I'll get you the leads and that sort of thing. And he said, I think so. So I went to go hire another person and I laid in bed for the next two months and I scaled my company at the time from like 20,000 a month to about $50,000 a month. Once I was healed, I got an office. I hired an office manager. I hired a uh, real estate mentor because what was happening was there were all these properties that we were getting called out to, to give clear outs for a lot of these people like they didn't expect to pay five grand for a clear out so we would lose these jobs I mean I bid jobs up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars 
And a lot of these people, like I would just see myself not land these jobs and I'm like, how can I some way capitalize in this, even if it's not junk removal? So I realized that, hey, a lot, a lot of these people want to sell their home, kind of like the, the grandpa situation that I gave you. Like somebody could have just bought the home, right? And left the junk in there. So I hired my mentor. I came back within the first week of me coming back from that mentor. I closed uh, two wholesale deals. They didn't, or they didn't close, but I put them under contract. Right. About a month later, they both ended up closing. So I one property I cleared out for thirty five hundred dollars. He came back to me two weeks later, said, "Hey man, I need to find a buyer for this. Can you help me?" And I got five thousand dollar assignment fee on that one, and then I made five grand on the next one, and then I became addicted to that process. Uh, my next deal, you know, it was a four hundred dollar junk removal job, is what they called me out to do. Uh, I ended up buying the property off of them. It was a $400 junk removal job. I raised 100% of the money on that deal and I made $67,000 profit. And then my junk removal business like really started to scale uh, because I was increasing the profit margins with these real estate deals, that sort of thing. We started offering demolition as well. So we were going in and gutting homes for real estate investors. Uh, so we did that as, as well. A little bit of hauling services, you know, hauling material from point A to point B. Uh, so I did that, scaled it to a seven figure company. So I started yeah. building my brand and every single day I was posting content. I get, you know, two likes, 10 likes. But I was staying disciplined, focused on the process. Yeah. And one day I got a video on TikTok. It had 175,000 views. Nice. And I woke up the next day. I had, you know, probably a thousand leads, honestly, of people saying, hey, will you show me how to start a junk removal company? And I'm like, man, there's maybe a business here. So I started <laughs> hopping on the phone calls with these people, selling them a product I did not have just to see if it would even Ooh, I, work. I out. love you, man. That's awesome. And, that is, that, that's and, true entrepreneurship. I uh, ended up making 27,000, you know, basically is what I collected. What were you charging them and what were your deliverables at that point in time, Kyle? At, at the beginning, it was very inconsistent is what I'll say, right? because I would have said a higher amount. And then if they weren't willing to pay me that amount, I was a lot more negotiable than I am now because I was, again, yeah. I was just seeing if it was going to work. But what they right. would get is they get, at the time I didn't know what I was going to sell. So I told these people they could start flying out to my office. And that's when I really determined what I was going to give them. So I, I quit calling people and I built a blueprint is what I called it that broke the business down of everything that they needed to know to start and scale the business to multiple five figures a month. That's what they got. And the first day I would go over the blueprint with them at my office. The second day they would ride on my trucks. And I coached a handful of people like that uh, doing that. And I kind of fell in love with uh, helping people and just doing that sort of business in general. Then I decided I was going to do all online. So that's what we do right now. We do all online. We'll have events and stuff like that in the future, but it's all online. Guys, make sure you give Kyle a follow. Make sure you follow his success. I know I, there's going to be other businesses that are being started just as I, as sure as like there's a floor under my feet, he will be starting another business or something else soon because you're a serial entrepreneur. I really appreciate you coming on the show, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. All right. Peace, guys. So that was my conversation with Kyle. I hope you learned something and you should feel inspired to go and start your own business. He started doing this when he was just 20 years old and now he's financially free and happier than ever. You just have to have the entrepreneurial mindset. Go give Kyle a follow. If you want to learn more from him, we will have a link in the description and make sure to watch out for the full podcast. It'll be coming out soon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, follow, and share.